Bless your name, O oh Lord God. And we say, Father God, everywhere, everywhere, Father God, where your name is being worshipped and your name is being praised today, O oh God, in every home, O oh Lord God. Father God, let that be also their promise, their, their, their reality, that their sphere of influence will stretch to the ends of the earth. Father, we thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Last week, we started looking at God's mercy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Seeing how God's mercy is something that we cannot do without. Hallelujah. How his mercy is fresh every morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I just would like to expand on this today. Praise the Lord. In terms of by way of encouragement so that we can have that great reassurance, you know, that strong foundation to know that in any way, whatever, we have God's mercy to rely on. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to look at quite a number of scriptures but God would help us and we will be able to get everything that the Holy Spirit has in store for us this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. And what I know that the Holy Spirit has in store for us is this. That no matter what it is, no matter what the situation is around you, that God is in it with you. And because God is in it with you, you are ending up victorious. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are riding on the crest of victory, what God is saying is that there are more. There, are, there is much more victory coming for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're right now facing a battle and you're not sure how it is going, God says to tell you, chillax. He's in it with you. And therefore, victory is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you're staring at the situation in front of you, and it looks as if, you know, you've lost it, or that you have made a mistake that is leading you, taking you um, towards a downward spiral, can I tell you that the Holy Ghost says, I'm here to lift you up. Hallelujah. I'm getting you out of that valley. And I'm bringing you to a place of victory in the mighty name of Jesus. The truth is that you would have learned your lessons, but you will end victorious. Amen. That is what God's mercy does. Praise the Lord. Let us just remind ourselves by looking once again at Lamentations. Lamentations chapter 3. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Hallelujah. Amen. Lamentations chapter 3. And reading from verse 22. And he goes, because of the Lord's great love for us. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great Lord is your faithfulness. And therefore, I, Ugochi Agasimelo, I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. Hallelujah. We will wait for the Lord because he is faithful to do what he has promised. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to illustrate the mercy of God by reading a portion of scripture in Matthew chapter 
9. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9, and I'm going to start to read from verse 9. As Jesus went from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, and Matthew got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Verse 12, on hearing this, Jesus said, it is not the healthy that need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call the righteous. So I have, so for I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Hallelujah. Amen. Can someone say to me, I desire mercy? I desire mercy. Not sacrifice. Not sacrifice. I desire mercy. I desire mercy. Not sacrifice. Not sacrifice. This is what Jesus replied, Matthew 9 12. He says, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. Matthew 9, 13. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. When Jesus said this, he said, go, go and learn what this means. He was quoting a particular scripture. And that is where I would like us to go to that scripture and begin to see what this mercy means. I desire mercy. I desire mercy. That is what he says. Go and learn what it means. That scripture is found in Hosea 6. Hosea chapter 6, verse 6. And let's go to Hosea chapter 6, verse 6. Praise the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Hosea 6 verse 6 says, For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, an acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. Praise the Lord. An acknowledgement of God. An acknowledgement of who God is. An acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. For I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're going to have a quick look through this particular scripture now. This portion of in Hosea, looking at Hosea and saying, what, what does God's mercy look like? What does it look like? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I would like us to illustrate it with Hosea's life. Hosea it was a prophet. And to illustrate it with Hosea's life, I think the first place we need to go to is Hosea chapter 1. And because of time, I'm going to read very short scriptures and just try to explain them really quickly. But I believe, God, that it will bring to our understanding what God's mercy is. And when he says, I desire mercy, the thing is that as we receive mercy from God, we as his children should also give that mercy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So let us go to Hosea chapter 1 and let us read verses 2 and 3. When the Lord began to speak to Hosea, the Lord said to him, go and marry a promiscuous woman and have children with her. For like an adulterous wife, this land is guilty of unfaithfulness. So he married Goma, daughter of Dib Diblim, and she conceived and bore him a son. Hallelujah. Amen. The first thing that struck me was that when God began to speak through Hosea, 
So when Hosea began his ministry, when he began his ministry, he said, I am now a prophet. God asked him to go and marry a prostitute. <laughs> so the person who will be by his side as he talks about what God has said is going to be a prostitute. Can you imagine that thing? This is, you know, you need somebody who is going to shore up your ministry and give you all the trappings of, um, of, of, of dignity that that office aspires. And God tells Hosea to go and marry a promiscuous woman. What it reminds me of is this, that while we were yet sinners, God died for us. It reminds me of what he says in Ephesians, that it is not by works, but it is by grace that you and I have been called into the household of God. Hallelujah. You didn't earn it, and I didn't earn it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For God to make himself, you know, for all the dignity and everything that is his. He chose you and he chose me to do the work for him. Hallelujah. Amen. It is only mercy that can do it and make it right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only mercy that can make it right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He says that God does not call the qualified, but he qualifies those that he called. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So look at Hosea going about his business, about to launch into this ministry of being a prophet. And what happened? Go and marry a prostitute. Praise the Lord. God definitely does not call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So do not worry about yourself and your situation where you are at now. Don't look at yourself and make yourself small. If God needs you, he will qualify you. He will use you. Bring that thing to him. It is his mercy that will sort it out, not you. Do I hear hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, Jesus said to the Pharisees that they should go and find out what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. And that we want to say, go and learn. Go and learn what it means. And that's what we're doing today. We're trying to learn what does this mercy mean? Hallelujah. Amen. What does it mean? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, the yeah. thing is that if you learn this mercy, then you will never have a yo-yo kind of, your emotions will not be yo-yo. Praise the Lord. You know, today good, tomorrow bad. Because each time the devil tries to attack you, you remember that the mercy of God always speaks and speaks a good word concerning you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The next scripture that I want us to look at is Hosea 2, 7. Hosea chapter 2, verse 7. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. And it says, she will chase after her lovers, but, but not catch them. She will look for them, but not find them. Then she will say, I will go back to my husband as at first, for then I was better off than now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is very interesting. See, Goma was a prostitute. Hosea went and married her. You would have thought that being with a, pro with a prophet would have enabled her to say, oh God, you've taken me from the Mary pit." You've brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, God, how wonderful. Uh-uh. But what happened? From being a prostitute, she got married. She became an adulteress. Hmm. Who, which one of us would like to be in that situation? God said, go and marry this person. You go and marry that person. You, you expect that I'm going to clean her up. Her gratitude in her, that, She's grateful that I have taken her. No one would have married her. So she will become a faithful wife. Mm -mm. She ended up in adultery. In adultery. My brothers and my sisters, I'm sure some of you are shaking your head 
and saying, mm, ah, God forbid. My dear, <laughs> can I tell you, you, me, we have been guilty. How many times have we pursued the gift and relied on the gift and not the giver? God has blessed you with a talent and blessed you with a gift. He has brought you into prominence through that talent and through the gift. And after a while, what happens? You're after the gift. You're relying on the gift to make a way rather than relying on the giver to make a way. You see, at some point, God will come back and say, eh, eh, look up to me. His mercy draws you back and lets you know that I gave you the gift in the first place. Focus and refocus on me. Hallelujah. Amen. The good news is this, that the gifts and calling of the Lord, that they are without repentance. Hallelujah. Amen. He will keep the gift with you, but he will make you see that you have to fix your eyes on him no matter what. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Yeah. Remember that we have a story in the book of Acts. We don't have time to look into that, but I'll give you the reference. It's Acts chapter 8, verse 18 to 20. And you remember that it was a time when there were some disciples who were in Philippi. And they went there and they learned that they had received and they had, are now followers of Jesus, but had not received the gift of the Holy Spirit. So Peter and Co went there and they prayed and they received the gift of the Holy Spirit. And you remember there was someone called Simon who now gave them money and said, take this money, take money from me so that I can get this gift. And when I lay hands on people, they will begin to speak in tongues. And Peter said, let that money go to hell with you, but pray that God will forgive you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You see, sometimes we, you know, we, we are desirous of gifts, you know, gifts of the spirit. We are desirous of talents and there's nothing wrong with that. But there comes a problem when we begin to rely on the gift rather than the giver. There's a song that says, I seek the giver, not the gift. Hallelujah. That should always be our, our prayer to always seek the giver, not the gift. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You see, God's mercy will always turn you away from that. When you rush, rushing after the gift, he will say, no, come and look. And he will come back to seek you, to bring you back to where you should be. Hallelujah. Amen. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Jesus said, go and See what this means. Hallelujah. And that is what we are exploring. That God's mercy will not let you rely on the gift. God's mercy will always turn you back to who he is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us now look at one last thing before we round up by God's grace. Hallelujah. Now let us go to Hosea chapter 3. Praise the Lord. Hosea chapter 3. And I'm going to read verses 1 and 2. The Lord said to me, Go, show love to your wife again. Though she is loved by another man and is an adulteress, love her as the Lord loves the Israelites. Though they turn to other gods and love the sacred raisin cakes, Verse 2, so I bought her for 15 shekels of silver and about a homer and a lithek of barley. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is his wife. A prostitute brought into the home, became an adulteress. He had to go and buy his wife back. He had to go and buy his wife back. Praise the Lord. God's mercy will always pay a price for your redemption. The price was already paid at the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. That price is a price that God has paid. 
by our Lord Jesus Christ to buy back your redemption. There is no how far you will go that God will not come to retrieve you. His mercy will see that you are kept. Praise the Lord. The blood of Jesus sealed that once and for all. Praise the Lord. There's an example in scripture that I want to use because I think it's very pertinent. You know how it is. We say, okay, we are Christians. You know, if this happens, how do we get restored? And I want to tell you the story of Peter. Praise the name of Jesus. You see, when you know about Peter, in Matthew 16, Peter was declaring who Jesus was. He said, you are the son of the living God, the one that came to save us. And Jesus said, "Uh uh-uh, you, it is not flesh and blood that revealed it to you, but the Holy Spirit. Upon this rock, I now, you see, he started with Simon. He said, I now call you Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. What you cancel here on earth is canceled in heaven. What you agree with here on earth is agreed in heaven. God just pronounced these blessings on Peter. Then we fast forward. This was we fast forward to towards the end. And Jesus said, "Mm, Peter, by the time the cock crows, you will deny me. Peter said, God forbid, no, how can me? No way, I'm going everywhere with you. Even onto that cross, two of us are going to be nailed on it, if that's what it will be. But we know the story. But you see, even after all is said and done, we now come to John 20. What happens? For every time that Peter denied Jesus, we denied him three times. Jesus restored him. Peter, do you love me? Lord, you know that I do. Feed my sheep. Peter, do you love me? Lord, you know that I do. Look after my sheep. Peter, do you? Oh, Lord, you know that I love you. What did they say? Do you love me? Yes, you know that I love you. Look look after my sheep. God restored him for every denial. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God will restore you in the name of Jesus. His mercy will find you. You see, the good thing about the story about, I don't know whether you can call it a love story between Hosea and Goma. The good thing about it is that God told Hosea, I want you to do that because that is the demonstration of how I, God, I deal with the people of Israel. Hallelujah. They come, I have cleaned them up. They run, I go and bring them back. They run, I go and bring them back. That is why God's mercy is is freshened every moment. It is not the mercy of yesterday that you're going to use to carry you through to today. Hallelujah. It is a fresh mercy for today. It is not the mercy of today that will carry you through to tomorrow. When tomorrow dawns, God gives you a fresh mercy. Hallelujah. The story of Hosea and Goma is the mercy, the kind of mercy that God extends to you and to me. Isn't that awesome, my brothers and sisters? Isn't that awesome? I mean, that is beyond you understanding it, beyond me understanding it. Because, you know, we have limits. But the truth is that God has no limits. For God, who is rich in mercy, has chosen you and has chosen me to be recipients of his grace. The blood of Jesus will always speak. Speak concerning your cause. It will always speak concerning your case. Hallelujah. So what does it mean? Hallelujah. What does it now mean? What does it now mean? For you and for me. Praise the Lord. It's one thing expounding these things. It's one thing saying these things. But we have to bring it into today. Hallelujah. We have to bring it in into this environment that we find ourselves. We have to bring it in into this pandemic. Into those of us who have to go to work. Into those of us who are not at work. Into those of us who are fearful that we may lose our jobs. 
And that fear is real. Hallelujah. But the mercy of God is even more real. Praise the Lord. That, mess, that fear might be real, but the mercy of God is the truth. Hey, hallelujah. And the truth will always prevail. So what does it mean for us today? It means that whatever it is, the situation happening now, you may be afraid, you may be hard-pressed, you may be fearful, but the truth is that God's mercy will not let you to be crushed Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He will not let you to be crushed. You will rise above it. Amen. You will be a winner in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It might mean there may be many things we do not understand. We are perplexed. Why did this happen? Why did our Christian sister die when we prayed and fasted and said, no, they will not die? Why did they still die from coronavirus? Why did that man of God still die? Why is it that it's at this time that this happened? Why did that job, why did I lose that job? We may be perplexed, but because we know we have God's mercy, it will never get to the place of despair. Hallelujah. Because Jehovah, who is the one that opens every door, we open a door that will bring you to a place of fulfillment and a place of victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Despair will not be your portion Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For your faith, for your stance, you may be persecuted. You may run into all kinds of things and people don't want to talk to you. And people are doing things to deliberately make you look foolish and make you look like an idiot. Ah, but in the name of Jesus, God will never abandon you. He will always give you a way of escape. You will find a way. He will not abandon you. And he will make sure that his glory in your life is what will shine and what will be prominent Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You may walk and you may stumble, but let me let you know that God will never allow you to be destroyed. Amen. His mercy will always speak. Amen. And in all these situations, it may not be because you did it or you didn't do it. It's irrelevant whose fault it was. Praise the Lord. You see, on that cross, Jesus paid the price. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. His mercy will always see you get to the next level of glory Hallelujah. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I just want all of us to know that, that God's mercy, God's mercy, he is our portion. That means his mercy will always speak for us. So during this period where there's a lot of uncertainty, yes, I want your hearts to be encouraged. Amen. I want you to stay strong knowing that as long as you are in Christ, his mercy speaks for you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Do I hear hallelujah? hallelujah? Do I hear praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you we thank you, O oh God, for your love for us. Because of your great love for us, Lord, we are not consumed. Yes. Your mercy is fresh for every moment of our lives. Father God, and we say with all boldness and confidence that you, Jehovah God, you are our portion, you are our share. Therefore, Lord, no matter where we are, we will wait for you because your mercy will come through for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for this great love, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. But for you, Lord. Thank you, sir. But for you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we thank you. Hallelujah. In our businesses, your mercy will speak. Hallelujah. In our lives and in our relationships, your mercy will speak. Yes, Lord. In our careers, your mercy will speak. Yes, Lord. In our walk with you, in our relationship with you, oh Lord, your mercy will speak. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You will not let us go far. <laughs> you will pull us back. Amen. You pay the price for us, O oh Lord God. And when we come between the rock and the hard place, it will not be a dead end, O oh Lord, because you are there with us. But God, thank you for your mercy. That is a constant voice, a constant voice, 
a constant voice in our lives. Father God, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wherever, whatever, Hallelujah. the message from the Spirit to you today is chillax. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chillax. Just chill. Just, just, just rest. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gave us a promise, and that promise he said to us was that our domain will stretch to the ends of the earth. Amen. Your influence, your influence will stretch to the ends of the earth. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Our God is good. Oh, Our God is good. Oh, Our God is good. Oh, and we give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I've really, really enjoyed that ministration. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit was even speaking to me, as I'm sure he was speaking to you. What I'm just going to say to anyone who may have joined us or who may be listening to this later on, and you do not know who the Lord Jesus Christ is, you need to just make him your Lord and your Savior. Believe in your heart and confess him as Lord. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I know that I've been trying to do this without you. And I know that I cannot succeed. I come to you now. I receive the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ for my sake. I thank you that he died on the cross for me. And I thank you that my sins are forgiven. And that I am now part of the household of God. And I know that with God on my side, his mercy will speak for me. Amen. Amen. Welcome. And if you prayed that prayer, please just look for us online. You will find our email address and send us an email. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Fountain of Life Church, London. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen. We're just, this is the time that we're going to bless the offering that you're going to give to the Lord. Your tithes and offering. And I'm just going to say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, O Lord God, for blessing us with what we have. What we give, O Lord God, is just in appreciation, is a token. It can never, 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 never equate to the mercies and the blessings that you have given us. But we do it in obedience and say, Father God, receive it. Father God, as receive it lord we give with thanksgiving and we ask you lord god to receive it in jesus mighty name amen, amen. praise the lord hallelujah. hallelujah our god is good oh, all sorry. the time hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of jesus hallelujah. hallelujah so i just want to say thank you all for joining and also to remind you once again that god's mercies are fresh every morning, fresh every morning. And his mercy is a constant voice that speaks for you. Hallelujah. Those of you who know me know that, you know, that is my go-to place. Hallelujah. God's mercy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But before we go and share the grace, I just want you all just to say a wonderful happy birthday to Pastor Toby. Hallelujah. Amen. It was her birthday on the 11th of June, and I know that she had a good time and made people rejoice with her, but I'd like the house to say happy birthday, Pastor Tobes. Indeed, Hallelujah. God's mercy, his grace, his favor will constantly be your companions. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will lack no good thing. Amen. In Jesus' name. Indeed, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Minds are yet to conceive what God will do with you and with your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for being the woman that you are. You are just Hallelujah. wonderful. And God bless you real good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And to everyone else whose birthday was during the week, we say a happy birthday. God's mercy and grace will always accompany you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Just to remind you very, very quickly, 
that um, we we'll meet again on Thursday. We're going to pray on Thursday, praise the Lord, and we meet again on Sunday next week. So please do join us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have a wonderful week. Hallelujah. And remember that God's awesome mercy, his awesome grace, they are not just an act. They are also an essence of who he is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that essence is with you all the time. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let us share the grace. The May the grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the love, love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the happy.